Forum for Creative Europe, Prague 2009. Hello, my name is Jaroslav Pašmik. I am a Czech journalist and it's my pleasure to invite you to the Forum for Creative Europe, which is beginning March 25th, 2009 here in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. The opening of the Forum is happening in this beautiful building behind me, which is actually the Czech Museum of Music. A number of guests and speakers are already here. The first we will talk to today is the Czech Ministry of Culture, Václav Jehlička. I would like to ask you what inspired you to organize this conference. It wasn't just an instant idea. The year 2009 is marked as the year of creativity and innovation. These two words might sound rather incomprehensible in Czech, but it really means to create and bring forth new things. I believe this is a good theme, particularly at this time when Europe, and not only Europe, is faced with an economic crisis and we will need to view life from new perspectives and to act creatively, that is to have new ideas and try to solve the current situation in a creative way. Before the opening, there was a demonstration in front of the museum organized by representatives of independent Czech culture institutions, mostly Czech literature magazines. Uh, it's a demonstration against uh, um, um, Czech Ministry of Culture, which uh, uh, reduces uh, the amount of grants uh, for uh, performing arts, literature and visual arts uh, this year uh, it's minus 35% and uh, it's a very uh, paradox thing uh, because um, inside there uh, it's just uh, to begin the conference uh, forum for creative Europe which is very good, you know, a lot of uh, great speakers and great uh, uh, like a cultural politicians or, uh, from uh, EU from the EU and we uh, don't know why this hypocrisy is happening you know we have seen here a rally of artists and representatives of literary magazines who blame you for making cuts to their budgets and they claim that in contradiction with this conference you in fact undermine creativity I've talked to a number of these people and I believe that most of them have no idea what they are taking part in because someone just sent them here. Compared to 2005, so-called independent arts now receive two and a half times more in subsidies. You know, we have been hit by the economic crisis and we did have to make some minor budget cuts compared to last year. I have spoken with the real artists. The protesters are mostly students who just need to let out steam and I try to take it in good stride. I discussed this with the representatives of independent culture and that same day we boosted the subsidy for the literary magazines. Last year we earmarked 15 million for them and this year they're getting 14 million. It's a fact that there are fewer funders due to the economic downturn, but the government cannot entirely replace the funders. The state must keep focus on the priorities, which are social security and healthcare government programs. We can't expect an ever-increasing prosperity. After the prosperous years, we are now facing linears. I think it's not going to get better, it's going to get worse. And that even the protesters outside, who represent only a very narrow cultural group, will have to brace for the bad times. On Thursday, the conference starts its program. How to support culture and how the culture sector can survive the financial crisis will be one of its topics.